so I'm gonna start by um, just I'm, I'm working on this box splash, and the idea is to um, cover a lot of the walls with the tile. So um, what we're gonna do is we're going to um, remove the little box splash that you have there and the outlet covers, and just kind of you know just just remove a little bit, detach the the outlets from the walls, so we can work as well as behind the stove and um, all the areas around here. So uh, that's how we're gonna start. We're gonna be removing that and I'll show you in a moment what are the other steps. So now that we've removed the, the small backsplash, we're gonna uh, make sure that all the little um, excess amount of uh, cement or whatever it was in behind um, is removed. And also we're gonna kinda just kinda lose a little bit of the um, outlets and the switches and all that stuff. I wanna make sure that when you cut around, you leave those screws exposed. And, but you don't want to over, you know, overdo that the hole because the plates will not work or the outlets will not, you know, will not get attached correctly. So I'm going to use three by six tiles. This one I have here is a half piece that I already cut with the wet saw. Wet saw, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and, and I'm going to use this type of cement to work with it. So uh, as I continue with the project, uh, while we cut pieces for for the you know the outlets and all the stuff, I have to work surely actually work around here too because of the space I need to work from the top down. The type of um, material again that I'm using is really good for that because it gives you that grip that you need when you're working with the small tires like these ones and they will not kind of slip you know at least as, as fast and you want to make sure that you work pretty much well because you just have to put a little bit of weight on the wall. You want to put it all the way down and so you know that's what we're going to continue cutting and, and adjusting. Well um, as you can see now um, I have a lot of the section covered. Normally you don't cover the bottom, but uh, in this case we're doing it, so it's really, really nice. Um, you know, just, just make sure that whenever you don't have a space, a big spaces, you actually apply the material on the, on the, you know, the piece instead of like the wall. I have a big section over here, so I have the luxury to kind of work really quick and install it. But sometimes you're going to get to areas that you better put it on that and then just stick it on the, on the wall. Always be careful with the, with the you know, with the sizes around the, the boxes because you're gonna need um, you know the, the space to you know screw back again your your outlets and your your stuff. Um, what else can I say? You know, just just keep cleaning the areas where you're working. Make sure that you can remove a little excess if you have a little excess of that, and then just kind of move along. I will show you in a moment. You know, the areas we're gonna continue to the corner, and then we're gonna just kind of finish up over here to make it look kind of nice. So the final part. Once you um, finish in installing the, the tiles as to uh, apply the grout, um, you can actually go and refer to some other videos that I have about, about grouting. Um, so this one is not that long. I don't make this one so, so long. Um, what else can I say? Once you finish that, just, just put your plate covers back again. I added this kind of little LED light. And, you know, it's perfect, but uh, I'm not going to just talk in this video about it. Anyway, just want to make sure that you can clean all the areas well and that everything is nice and, you know, the same type of um, um, line size, I guess. Um, what else can I say? Just make sure that you clean all the all the glue whenever you're working because sometimes little, you know, particles of glue get stuck. So I hope this video will help you to understand how you make your own um, projects. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.